I can feel the sweat. I'm gonna make you sweat. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, it's a very hot day and I feel like I'm already melting. Um, it's like 23 degrees Celsius here in the UK and my door is closed, my windows are closed, so like noise doesn't get in and interrupt this video and I am already feeling a sweat coming on. So I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as I can. Today, I'm gonna be showing you my entire Disney clothing collection. So I was actually asked for this video but I thought I would show it to you because I thought it was an interesting video and I don't really see these videos on YouTube that much. I see hauls but not like people's Disney clothing collections. Apologies for anyone who doesn't have a Primark near them because a lot of this is Primark but there's still stuff from Walt Disney World um, that I'm going to be showing you. So I'm going to get right on into this. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Remember to subscribe and let me know what your favourite piece that I'm going to show you is. I'm just going to pull things out randomly. They're just in a random pile. So the first thing that I have is this t-shirt here and this is my most recent Disney purchase. I got this from Primark. It's actually a pyjama top and I'm not going to show you all my Disney pyjamas. I do have a few more Disney pyjamas. Um, but I just, I didn't fancy showing them. I just thought I'd show normal clothes. This is a pajama top, but I'm gonna probably wear it as a normal top. And it's my favorite film. Um, yeah, it's got all the characters, although it should have Nala on because we need to represent women. Um, and Nala's not there, which, you know, she's the main character. We should have Nala on here. Or Sarabi, um, the hyenas aren't on here. Um, but I still love it. I love the color of it. And it was £3.50. £3.50 and it's so cute. I love it. The next thing is also from Primark and it is this Stutch sweatshirt and this is my favourite one for working out. A lot of you might know that I've started working out in the mornings um, and I generally just put some leggings and a sweatshirt on um, and this has been pretty much my go-to one recently. It's just Stitch. Yeah and I think this was £8 from Primark so bargain especially when you compare it to the price of Disney World own jumpers and sweatshirts crazy um but it's so so cozy as well it's really nice if it's just like a bit cold and I just want to snuggle up um yeah I really love it and who doesn't love stitch who the next one is also a good one for working out I tend to alternate between these two um and it is my Lion King sweatshirt this was one of the first things from everything that I'm going to show you that I ended up getting and this is actually from Forever 21. It was about 17, 18 pounds, so a bit more expensive than Primark. The quality is probably about the same to be fair. Um, but it's still, it's my favorite film. Mm. Uh, and I just like wearing it to work out or just to laze around in. So can't be a bit of Lion King. The next one is my most expensive item and it is a Disney own item. It is my Walt Disney World sweatshirt. It's a men's sweatshirt because they only sell it in the men's section, um, but it just has all the Disney parks on there and Mickey Mouse and a quote by Walt Disney. And it's just like my favorite thing in the world. They have this as well in a navy with stitch on and a different quote, um, but I like the gray one with Mickey Mouse. And I just love it. It's so, so cozy, even though this, I think this was $60, which is a lot for a sweatshirt. Um, it's probably the same with the, um, the spirit jerseys which I do want one of those as well um but it's so cozy and it's my favorite item that I have um and yeah I just love it I love it so much I think there's a theme here because the next thing that I'm going to show you is also a gray sweatshirt so the fourth gray sweatshirt I don't think I need any more gray sweatshirts I need a bit of color um but this one I've actually seen a lot of people with this sweatshirt it's Primark again um, and it's Beauty and the Beast, but it's only like really subtle Beauty and the Beast. So it has all these roses on it, and then it has Chip and Lumiere and can't remember her name. What's her name? Someone tell me her name. Oh, what's her name? I'm trying to think of Ewan McGregor and um in the live one, and he's like, oh um oh what's her name? Can't remember her name, but it's quite subtle Disney. It was very very popular when it was out. And it's so, so lovely. I love wearing this one. It's just, I don't know, I just love it. It's so, so cute. Guess what, guys? We've got more grey. It's not a sweatshirt, but it's more grey. Um, I have this t-shirt here. I haven't worn it. It's still got the tag in it. Um, and for anyone who wants to know, this was £4. Um, and it's just a grey stitch t-shirt. Maybe I'll take this to Florida this year with me. 
Um, but I just thought it was really, really cute. I really like Stitch and it's just a nice simple t-shirt with Stitch on there. Basically Stitch representing my three normal moods. Happy, um, what the beep you doing and grumpy as hell. The next one is also from Primark. Again, it's grey. It's a darker grey, so we're switching things up. It's also Lion King. It is this one here. It is Simba and it says, no worries, Hakuna Madada. Um, again, Lion King, favourite film, so I love it. I took this to Florida two years ago. Um, I didn't take it last year. I'm gonna have to be like more selective with things when I take things this year. Um, but I just think it's really, really cute. It's not my favourite style of t-shirt. Like, I don't really like the sleeves too much. Um, but it's got Simba on and that makes me happy. The next one is also Primark. I think this one was £4 and we're steering away from the grey. And we're moving on to black. <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen this in my vlogs. It is a Star Wars t-shirt. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars. But it's not like Star Wars have to watch Star Wars, have to get Star Wars merchandise, have to do all the Star Wars stuff. I do like Star Wars though. Um, but it's just this t-shirt here that says welcome to the dark side and I just like this with like usually my black shorts. I got some denim shorts today which this will go well with actually. Um, but it's just a simple t-shirt and I like wearing this to Hollywood Studios. So I'll probably end up taking this back again this year um, and if I end up going next year which I probably won't um, which makes me sad but if I do this will be a good t-shirt to take with me for the opening of Star Wars Land. Okay, we've got two more t-shirts to get through. I'll do the Primark one and then I'll do the Disney World one. Um, so the Primark one is this Mickey Mouse t-shirt. This is my only Mickey Mouse item, that's crazy. Um, but it's just like, kind of like a baseball tee, is that what you call them? Um, and then it's just got Mickey in the middle, California Mickey. Got it from Primark though, in, in good old Worcestershire um, and yeah I like the material of this because it's quite loose and floaty that's my favourite thing about it but it does get holes really really easily I have holes on both the front and the back one hole on each side so that kind of sucks but um, I think this was like £4 maybe £5 it wasn't very much and it's just a nice little floaty top so I really like that and the final clothing item I do have a couple other items to show you but the final clothing item is from Uniqlo in Disney Springs and it is this t-shirt right here I'm sure you can tell who that is but if you can't then it's Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc and it's like a paint splattered kind of effect t-shirt even though you've got like paint all over them um I just think this is so cute and it's unlike any kind of Disney t-shirt you're ever going to see anywhere it's all splattered on the back as well I just love this this and like I feel like men and women could wear this one it's just it's so nice it feels nice Uniqlo is pretty inexpensive in terms of Disney merchandise actually in Disney World so if you're looking for some relatively inexpensive Disney merchandise then go to Uniqlo because it's so much cheaper than like the actual Disney store stuff. Talking about Monsters Inc I also have another Monsters Inc themed item and it is the well Monsters University cap. I love this and I'm so gutted because last year I was gonna take this with me and I ended up leaving it at home so I couldn't wear it at all last year which was so so annoying um, but I'm gonna take it with me this year I have to remember it's just a just a cap I don't know if caps really suit me especially because I have such a large head so I don't know if it just makes everything look bigger um but I'm still gonna take it with me and I love it I feel like I'm part of like Monsters University. I fit right in in there. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get the Monsters University spirit jersey and then I can be like completely like emu'd out. That would be good but I just really like it and they sell these pretty much everywhere in Disney. It's like the Disney age you can pretty much find them anywhere. So I love it. The final two items that I have are both bracelets and they're both from Alex and Arnie and I'm sure a few of you have probably seen me show these before um but they're just these little bracelets right here and I've made it a tradition since we went in 2016 that I'm gonna get one every single year so when we go back this year I'm gonna get another one I have no idea which one I'm gonna get so the one I got in 2016 was this Cinderella one here it just says believe in every wish and it's this lovely blue color and I feel like it goes so well with my skin tone 
I'm very, very pale. <laughs> I actually bought fake tan today, so we're going to try that out soon. Um, but yeah, Cinderella was my favourite princess when I was little. I feel like because I had very, very blonde hair when I was a kid, I don't know, I just liked Cinderella because she had blonde hair as well. Is that what? So I decided to get this one and I love the quote on it. Again, I love the colour, I love the princess. Um, she's not my favourite princess anymore. It's a toss up between Belle and um, Rapunzel. I nearly forgot her name. And then my other Alex and Arnie bracelet that I got is this silver Epcot one. So it just has Spaceship Earth on the charm. Even though I got it last year, Epcot was actually my favourite park in 2016. Animal Kingdom was my favourite park last year and I was umming and ahhing between the Epcot one or the Animal Kingdom one. Um, and I ended up with the Epcot one just because I thought it went better with the Cinderella charm I was wearing at the time so I was able to compare. Um, Maybe I'll get an Animal Kingdom one this year, we don't know. Um, but I just love Spaceship Earth. I love how it looks. I, I just love this bracelet so, so much. Um, and Epcot will always hold a big place in my heart, as will all the Disney parks, actually. I feel like they've pretty much all been a favourite of mine at some point or another. Um, but yeah. So that is my Disney clothing and a couple of accessories collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe. Um, yeah, I obviously need more Disney clothes, especially I need Disney clothes with colour because there's a lot of colour that's, that's um, well, it's not here basically. Um, so if anyone knows of any good Disney clothes with an injection of colour in them, like a bit of red or a bit of pink or some green I don't really know colour um let me know <laughs> maybe I should make that a mission this year buy Disney clothes with colour get a spirit jersey that is not grey I don't think they have grey I wouldn't get a grey one anyway what colour spirit jersey should I get let me know in the comments down below um but I'm gonna end the video there and I hope you all have an incredible day